Have you heard of grit? Grit is the ability to persist in something even when you face obstacles. The latest research tells us that grit is a stronger driver of success than inherent talent and ability. Now, think about what coders do. They sit with a problem and keep at it till they fix it. Can you think of a better way to develop grit? Six-year-old Shivanch is helping mothers make tasty, nutritious meals that their kids will actually like, while Jocelyn is using gaming to build the right parking and driving habits. All of this through coding. At an age where most kids struggle to express themselves, our little coders are solving real-world problems. Children build on their coding skills throughout the course using block coding, a language based on JavaScript. It's an intuitive way to code and comes with enormous flexibility. They access several labs, Artist Lab, Game Lab, Sprite Lab, App Lab, Native Apps, API integration, Funkable, and somewhere in all this experimentation and problem solving, they also find their natural aptitude. It's wonderful to see. For instance, seven-year-old Jocelyn has used his understanding of these concepts to create a parking game that is a lot of fun to play. Do you know what his motivation was? He looked at the way people drove and parked in his city and decided they needed to practice some more. So he made a game. Looking at it, you would never guess that the developer was just seven years old. Now these kids are also picking up some serious user interface skills. From class 48 onwards, children begin to learn finer events, mouse tracking, function calls, and other challenging and advanced concepts. They also learn how to improve user experience and usability. They think about how someone will use the app, not just how to make something that's pretty. Six-year-old Sadarshana combined his love for the stories of the Ramayana with his love for creating with code to make the Tag Sita game. The images he's used are beautiful, and the navigation is so simple that even a little child could use it. That just struck me as really ironic. Once again, looking at this beautiful app, you would never know who was behind it. Class 75 onwards, they learn how to make tables and table structures and concepts like keys, queries, arrays, for loops. They learn how to insert, update, edit, and delete values in a database. You know, the things that grown-up database administrators do, those things. And of course, they learn about machine learning and artificial intelligence. They also learn space tech simulations where their curiosity about galaxies and space and black holes sees full expression. Somewhere along the way, these kids learn that they are creators. They realize that the games their friends are playing, they can design them. They learn that if something really bothers them, they have the ability to think of solutions and create them. Let me take a minute here and tell you about Shivanch. Six-year-old Dynamo decided he needed to help mothers make better tiffins so his classmates would stop stealing his. <laughs> Shivanch's app lets you pick from various cuisines and gives you several dish options. Each dish has a recipe, nutritional value, and links to a cooking video on YouTube. But that's not all. He's already thinking about how his friend's mothers can contribute their own recipes with his permission, of course, and how other users can rate these recipes. Down the line, he's even thinking of a delivery service. See what I mean? In the coming months, not only will you watch your child learn how to code like a pro, but also to think like a tech entrepreneur. Wait till the first time you play a game they make for you. Your pride will be great, but theirs will be even greater. There's that feeling of, I can do it. That is just incomparable. So prepare yourself for a thrilling time. Who knows what your child will build? Once again, welcome to White Hat Junior.